everyone, uh, I'm Glasses Geek, and yeah, this is extremely random, and I don't know what the camera's capturing, so yeah, I, I hope I actually have myself on camera. There is no way for me to be able to tell whether or not I have myself on camera, but oddly enough, out of the blue, I have the whole house to myself, so I can speak nice and fairly openly and fairly loud. Uh, everyone's sleeping except for me. It's, it's the middle of the afternoon, and yet, you know, it's 5 o'clock, and yet I'm the only one not asleep. So, <laughs> uh, so yeah, I just thought, and I've been watching some really random videos lately. Uh, one of those really random videos is Garrett Watts, and man, I really like him. He's amazing, but I, I love the editing, and I love the filming, and so... Since no one watches my Glasses Geek channel anyway, I figured, you know what, I can post anything I want on this. And since I actually do live under a rock, and I really am a hermit, and I really am disconnected, uh, I didn't know about these things called mukbangs or mukbangs or something like that. Anyway, uh, it's, an, it's a, I think, either a Chinese or maybe Vietnamese, I don't know. It, it's an Asian word for basically eating videos and I just there are so many moments when I just I throw together things because I'm hungry <laughs> and it turns out spectacular and I've been learning how to cook little bit by little bit and how to actually feed myself over the years and I just I had to film this this is a rather and so I'm going to turn the camera now this is a rather spontaneous And I hope it holds up. But this is a rather spontaneous mukbang. And what I combined together, and ramen is really, really cheap. And I found out that you can take ramen noodles. Uh, and even though they are full of quite a lot of salt, I found. And maybe they're a little high in calories. They're really good if you put them with vegetables and other items. And so what I did here is I just took a hard-boiled egg and... I sliced it up with an egg slicer, you know, and I added some shredded carrot. I added, oh yeah, okay, this is this is what I was trying to remember. I added some soybeans or some edamame, and this this tastes fantastic. The shredded carrot gives it sweetness, and the soybeans uh, are just absolutely delicious. But then. And this is what really gives it the flavor. I got these caught, you know, these kosher. Is that there we go? I got these dill kosher dill croissant sandwich slices, and it's these things specifically. These are kind of like half baked, as you want to call them. Um, just you know, slices of pickle, and I need to add another one anyway, so I'm also just do this on camera. So yeah, since this is an inadvertent mukbang, I'm also just eat on camera anyway, so... Oh my god, is this ever good? But yeah, I was watching Garrett's videos, and I was like, damn, I wish I could go cook for him. He needs... He's, he's a bachelor like I've been all these years, and you know, now at the age of 40, I've learned quite a lot of stuff, and I just wish that I could go and impart all my knowledge to him, so that he could actually, you know, be able to cook for himself, and... <laughs> Because believe me, I know what it's like being a bachelor and not having much money and needing to cook for yourself. And I've been wanting to make videos like that on my Hobby Hermit channel. And I still haven't been able to because of health and time constrictions. But I'm hoping to, just like him, do that. And now since I'm given the opportunity at the moment during coronavirus, I'm going to try to. But yeah, you just take one of these pickles and you just, and this is the flavoring, this tastes so good, you'd be shocked how good pickle juice tastes on, and don't, don't sit there and barf over it, this tastes excellent with, you know, ramen, it tastes absolutely fantastic, I am really surprised. It tastes so good. You know, but, but you do have to like pickles to begin with. But try it. You will be really surprised. Because um, there's a lot of Asian meals that have pickled items with it. And they'll, they'll, they'll pickle all kinds of stuff. And they'll put it with, you know, something like ramen. 
And it tastes so good. There have been times when I've gotten to the end of this jar and I've just taken the pickle broth and I've just poured it all over the ramen and it tastes amazing. So literally don't knock it till you've tried it. You'll be shocked. It's kind of like, you know, cheese whiz and marshmallows. It's like, how does that taste good? But it kind of does. It's like that can't possibly taste good, but it does. Kind of like when I came down south here, the grossest thing in the world, I found out about like refried beans and putting salsa and actual hot sauce on your eggs. I thought that was the grossest thing in the world. I was so disgusted by it. And I even heard of these like breakfast burritos where you would take like refried beans, with I, which I thought was the grossest thing in the world. I wouldn't go near it. And they would actually take refried beans, put them in a tortilla, and then take like essentially scrambled eggs and salsa and stick that inside the tortilla with the refried beans roll it up and eat it and that was a breakfast burrito and I thought that was the grossest thing in the world I thought it was so nasty but then I actually tried it and now that's my favorite thing in the world to eat it's you know salsa and eggs is my favorite thing in the world in fact I make garden omelets and breakfast omelets you know and I always try to stick just a little bit of for me non-spicy it has to be mild or extra mild but you know because I'm sorry but you know I'm a northerner and those are my jeans. I don't like spicy. But you know, I mean, the flavoring in the mild and the extra mild is still there and it's so delicious. And maybe it's my northern jeans why I like such pickled things. I mean, you know, my ancestors, they actually took perfectly good fish and they soaked it in lye and they called it lutefisk. So maybe that's why I like pickled stuff. But there you go. And I just thought that I would show this like heavenly, absolutely heavenly recipe, at least to my to my taste buds. And I like to find out how many other people out there have taste buds like me, you know, would actually put this together and say, oh my God, this tastes fantastic. Mm -hmm. Cause I'm telling you, to me it does. It really, really does. Mm. And let me show you the other flavoring that I use. So yeah, the other flavoring that I use, uh, my mom actually got a bunch of spices like this. Oh man. Sorry, we got, we got ice covering our trees and another tree just came down out back. If you saw me jump there. It's Wednesday, October 28th. You know, the time that I'm recording this, 2020, and, uh, yeah, not such a happy day. So, I'm trying to put some happiness into it through this video. So, anyway, this coconut and lime stuff, I think it tastes fantastic. It is a little salty. It's, it's not too bad for me. I put a bunch of rice in it to try to stop it, because it, it's still clumping anyway. But it's not clumping nearly as bad, because it was one solid rock before. And uh, my mom kept on buying these kind of spices from Sam's Club. And I don't know, she bought this. And I thought, I thought, what a waste, what a waste. And then finally I was like, you know what, I'm going to try to use this up. And because, you know, staying here, I'm like, well, I might as well try to use this up. And I love this. This is the best stuff ever. And I just sprinkle this into, I put about half a tablespoon to one full tablespoon into the water. I don't use the flavoring packet that this comes with because the MSG is just too terrible, you know, for the noodles. 
what I use is I use about a half tablespoon to one tablespoon of this. Usually I don't use a full tablespoon of this stuff, but, um, and I, you know, I let the water boil with that coconut and lime stuff instead. And then of course I strain the noodles immediately, but yeah. So that tastes really, really good. And I don't have nearly as many problems with it as I do, you know, other items. Oh, no. Oh, damn. Dropped a part of an egg. But, yeah, this is so delicious. I had to share it with the world, so... I don't know, this is an extremely inadvertent and random mukbang, I guess. I never even meant it to be like that. But I had to tell someone my happiness and my joy. <laughs> and something else you can do. Even while this jar of pickles is full, you can take about one tablespoon of the broth or the, you know, the brine in here and put it into the water that you boil your noodles in. And you can take a pickle or even two or three slices. You don't even have to chop it up, but I think it tastes better if you chop it up. Chop it up on like a plate and then just dump it into the water that you're boiling your noodles in. And then your noodles get infused with this delicious flavor. This delicious, you know, pickly flavor. And it is just, it is so good. I know that there are people out there who hate pickled stuff and they see pickled stuff as like kerosene cucumbers and whatnot. But, damn, I'll tell you, I am not one of them. <laughs> Too bad these eggs aren't pickled. That would be really good. Sorry if this was actual, like, professional filming. They would get so upset at me for having dead air. Nothing but the silence of my chewing. And how gross it is. <laughs> I'm not about to show myself totally on camera yet because I haven't, you know. Sorry, now it's more on in camera, the whole food. <laughs> but yeah. I had to eat lunch, and I thought, why not do it on camera? I've never done that before. I can't believe people are actually filming these things. So I thought, well, 
Damn, I'll try filming one. <laughs> so here I am. And if you think that I eat weird stuff, well, look at it from my point of view. I think you guys eat weird stuff. So there. <laughs> Mm. But just like refried beans and salsa on eggs, you know, don't knock it till you try it. You might be absolutely shocked. You will be flabbergasted at how good it actually is. Mmm. So, to all my pickly pickly pals out there, if you like pickled items, try this. Literally. But I'm warning you, the Klassen, this stuff is good. Other pickles, I've tried other pickles, they don't work. Other pickles do not work. You gotta use the Klassen. And these are kosher dill, I haven't tried sweet yet, but these are kosher dill sandwich slices. Klassen brand. These taste like half-baked pickles. The salt content is higher than other pickles that I can tell. Um, but it just, it tastes so good. Oh my god, it tastes so good. Um, I can't tell you how delicious this is. <laughs> and I know I really probably shouldn't be eating it, but it's just like, oh my god. Oh my god. I can't tell you how delicious pickled stuff tastes. Because you don't have it for like months on end. Like, I actually date everything that I open it. And the last time this, last time I had a pickle was the sixth month of this year. So. <laughs> And so, yeah, now I'm having two whole pickles in a bucket of ramen. <laughs> but yeah, if you're like desperate for food and desperate for flavoring, try this. You know, uh, you, know you can actually make ramen healthy. You can. And delicious and this is one way to do it mm. oh yeah there's one more flavoring I want to show you and yeah, these all come from Sam's Club. So anyway, this one is McCormick and it's called Grill Mates. And it's Montreal chicken. I don't know how old this is. I know it's probably pretty darn old. Um, and how is it clumping even less than, than the coconut? I don't, I have no clue. That doesn't even make sense to me how this is clumping even less. But this one is really good, but it's really spicy. It's kind of like just... I don't know. It's like opening this pepper shaker and just dumping the... <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> oh. See, it's even making me sneeze. <laughs> but it's like opening this pepper shaker and just dumping the entire thing into your, you know, whatever it is that you're cooking. But it does taste really good, so I would say try this. If you're into spicy stuff, you're going to love it. If you're not into spicy stuff like me, then use it sparingly. <laughs> But it will add um, some really good flavor. So there's this. And then there's one more Tony's. I figure why not just show this too. Tony's Italian Seasoning Blend. And this one says it's good for chicken, veal, and veggies. Uh, this, this, the coconut lime says it's good for fish, chicken, and pork. So that's kind of interesting. 
But yeah, this Italian seasoning blend by Tony's, uh, this is good for chicken, veal, and veggies, it says. But this is really good. I love this. This is kind of spicy, just like this uh, Montreal Chicken Grill Mates. But it's not as spicy. One problem with it, though, is that I am horribly allergic. I'm allergic to basil and, what is it, cilantro. And, yeah. <laughs> And there's something in this, more than likely cilantro. I, I, I know that there's basil in it, even though it doesn't say on the back. Um, but there's something in this that I am very allergic to, and I just, I swell up with welts after eating it. But it tastes good. It tastes really, really, really good. So every once in a while, you know, kind of like the pickles, I'll just, I'll break down and I'll just have some. So, yeah. So that's it for this here Mukbang. I'll just show these three off as a last. Put the pepper away. So yeah, here you go. Some flavorings for your food. And as far as I know, uh, my mom got these. She's, she's a hoarder, so she gets all kinds of interesting stuff from all kinds of wherever. Um... But believe it or not, I managed to put to very good use at least one of the seasonings. So I'm I'm proud of myself for that. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I don't know. Not much else to say. I think I might save the rest of this. Uh, I made it... I want to say I sugared it up too much. I salted it up too much with those... Uh, with those you know, pickle bits, but damn, that is good. And the longer I let this sit, the more it'll be like kind of boiling it in pickle brine. So it'll, it'll taste especially good this evening when I have dinner. So that's it for now. Thanks for stopping by and enjoying this kind of like cooking mukbang, I guess it is, or however you pronounce it. I'm sorry I'm pronouncing it incorrectly. I know I am. Um, but thank you for enjoying this eating absolute mess with me and I wish that a whole bunch of people would come and watch my channel and actually enjoy pickled items with me because I love pickled stuff. Dear God, I love pickled stuff. I hate spicy or peppery items. I hate uh, hot things, but damn, do I love pickled. I, I, I even love, I, I hate lima beans, but I like them pickled. I hate okra. Okra is like a wet tongue. It's like the vegetable that Frenches you while you're Frenching it is the most disgusting stuff in the world, but I love okra when it's pickled and deep fat fried. I don't know why. I don't know. I have kinks, all kinds, and food kinks go along right with it. I, I have a kink for any item that's pickled. If it's, you know, I hate lima beans, but pickled, I'll take them. I hate okra, but pickled, I'll take it. And, uh, oh, it's the mini cabbages, I call them. I couldn't remember the name for the life of me because I never eat them. I absolutely hate Brussels sprouts, but I love Brussels sprouts when they're pickled. So, you know, if I absolutely hate something, man, pickle it. I might like it. <laughs> so, <laughs> and I don't mean with alcohol either. I mean like actual pickling. So, yeah. Thanks for stopping by for this completely random mukbang and... Yeah, bye for now, and thanks for enjoying lunch with me.